Hello. So, you know, obsession or OCD or whatever causes this. So, I have this wonderful game and I've had it since 2015 and I play it a lot. I've put a lot of hours on this game. I can't really explain to you why because I have never um, had an urge to decorate anything. So, I guess it was the collection, collecting the Amiibo cards. Um, but, you know, I cheated. I cheated severely. So, what I did to get my Amiibo cards for Happy Home Designer was I went on uh, eBay years ago and I bought a ton of uh, Japanese cards because it doesn't matter. So, they still work. Even though you may not know this guy's name because it is written in Japanese, but it works. So, I have an affinity for turtles. I'm going to show you the turtles in a couple of minutes. So, in the game, you have an opportunity to meet creatures and make homes for them. Or you can just import uh, all these creatures from the cards you have. Now, what make the cards important or fun to the game for me is once the home is created for that particular individual animal, you can use a card to make other animals move into their home. Yeah. So, uh, there was a lot to this game when it came out. There were some really good online functions that, of course, no longer exist. The game is still fun. It's really awesome. You can still do it. So, let's see here. Uh, so, we're going to visit Graham's. This is a house I built a long time ago. And it's a turtle-oriented house. And I did, like, um, the background, like the floor and the walls and everything I drew, did myself. You know, you can get as crazy with this game as you want to. So, let's go visit the turtles. So, yeah, I used other cards to bring uh, the turtles into this home. So, when you go into this home, there's going to be a lot of turtles there. I mean, like, how much fun is that? And they do stuff. You know, like, they cook and they eat and they read books and they watch television. Hold on. Can't do it all with one hand. So, they have uh, multiple rooms because I've upgraded their home. Oh, boy. Look at that. So, everything is, like, blue. Focus. Yeah. So, you see, like, the, the waves on the walls and the blue floors because they're water turtles. You can talk to them. I can't. I just can't even tell you how much I love this game. Is it a waste of time? Probably. Uh, but it is so fantastic to me, I just can't tell you. So, they they do things, and you can go watch them do the things in the rooms. You can talk to them. So, basically, when you create a room or a home, you get one animal per home. It's when you use the cards that you get to invite other animals into the home. So you're decorating everything. You're doing the lights, you're doing the flooring. Like, I gave them a xylophone, I don't even know why. It must have been some sort of item that I had at the time that seemed magical. So they, they live there, and they stay there, and it's sort of like an ant farm. If you ever had an ant farm as a kid, you can go back and revisit, and you'll see them inside and outside, doing different things every time you visit. See, it's raining, one has an umbrella. You know, it's just fun. So, the deal is, you had to buy this separately, and this is what reads the cards. So, each card Mmm, has some kind of like crazy little microchip in it. Yeah, so you would turn this on 
and you would have it communicate uh, to your system. Uh, yep, right here. Yep. So you would line it up. Now you can you can only do that in a certain portion of the game. I'm not even trying to tell you about the whole game. It's a little bit more than what you might think it is. Um, so you can you can group animals together, like you can have a house full of tortoises, or you can have uh, you know cats and dogs and tortoises, and it's up to you. You get to arrange it. You get to make it. Now, back when this game came out, and for a few years, uh, you could upload your creations. So, like, in this room, I drew a fish and a background, and, you know, so that's what their wallpaper is in this room. Man, that's a cool game. So, if you've never played this game on the 2DS or 3DS, and you think you might want to play it, I can tell you. It is a soul sucker. You can really spend a lot of money and time playing it. And Amiibo cards, in my opinion, were expensive. Like, you could get the American ones. I don't know how many came in a pack. Sort of like Yu-Gi-Oh! or Pokemon. You get a few per pack, and the packs are like, I don't know, 9 or $10. Or you can do like I did, and you can buy a whole bunch of them in Japanese... For, I don't know, like most of these that you see here, which is, I'm assuming all the stacks together is, I haven't counted them, I would say like 130. Yeah, so instead of spending a ton of money, I spent like $45. Yeah. So, um, your little critters, they roam around and they do stuff and they talk to each other. Yeah. That's just fun to me. But then, you know, I'm a kid of the 70s and I grew up with ant farms. You get to create an ant farm with every house you make for one of these animals. Awesome. Okay, thanks.